and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the books and the books um today I'm going to be doing my April TBR now there will be three separate TBRs going up in the month of April this April TBR well no because this isn't going up in the month of April this is still going up in March this is the first of three TBRs that will be appearing for the month of April um this one is my April TBR then I also have my holiday TBR David and I are going away for a week in Pembrokeshire in Wales um with some friends that we are super excited about aren't we yeah we cannot wait it's going to be complete chill it's going to be lovely it's going to be beautiful scenery niceness so I'm going to take um quite a few books with me there because there's going to be quite a lot of like downtime for reading and also there is a cozy reading night going ahead in April so there'll be a TBR for that as well so these are one two three four five books that I will be reading in the month of April but do keep an eye out for my holiday TBR and for my um, cozy reading night TBR so I'll start with my book club books so ooh, uh, for my online book club we will be reading one by Sarah Crossan um, this is a book that I read last year it is a um, YA book uh, written about a pair of conjoined twins in is this prose? I've read it and I can't even tell you. Um, yeah, it's written in like in verse, in verse. So it's written almost like it's, it. You can absolutely fly through this. I read it so quickly. I really, really loved it last year and gave it four stars. And I don't know why I didn't include it in one of my best books of 2016 because I still think about this now and I'm really excited um, about the opportunity to share this with some others and to have a chat about this. I bought this um, for my friend Laurel for her birthday as well and she lent it once she'd read it and really enjoyed it she lent it back to me and I was like oh great I would love to read that um so yeah we're going to be reading that for my online book club um and then for my book club at work we are going to be reading Stum by Jem Lester um so this is a lovely hardback edition this might even be a proof I think it is a proof no it's not no it's not um so it says here um Ben Jewell has hit breaking point his 10 year old son Jonah has never spoken so when Ben and Jonah are forced to move in with Ben's elderly father three generations of men one who can't talk two who won't are thrown together as Ben battles single fatherhood a string of well-meaning social workers and his own demons he learns some difficult home truths Jonah Blissful in his Innocent becomes the prism through which all the complicated strands of personal identity, family history and misunderstanding are finally untangled. So yeah, this sounds like it's going to be really interesting and I feel like I am excited about it. Um, the lights just got, look, we're in, it's five past six and the light is just going, so we might well be getting a bit darker. In fact, David, would you mind just going and popping these light, this light on here? It's so good, isn't it? So the last three, oh, what a difference that's made. <laughs> so the last three books I'm going to be talking about is, um, this one is Sufficient Grace by Amy Esposeth. Um, this is the book, the only book now that I haven't read out of um, the moth box that I've been sent from uh, Mercedes's book subscription service, um, which sends you independent publish, published books, independently published books. Um, this is the last one I haven't read before my new box arrives. I think it will be getting here next week. This was published by Scribe. It's called Sufficient Grace, um, and it's about um, a woman called Ruth and her cousin Naomi who live in rural Wisconsin, part of an isolated religious community. The girls' lives are ruled by the rhythms of nature, the harsh winter the hunting seasons, the harvesting of crops, and by their family's beliefs. Frozen uh, beneath the surface of this world, froze beneath the bloody, I'm getting ahead of myself. Beneath the surface of this cold, frozen world, hidden dangers lurk. Then Ruth learns that Naomi harbors a terrible secret. She searches for solace in the mysteries of the natural world, broken fawns, migrating birds, and the strange fish deep beneath the ice. Can the girl's prayers for deliverance be answered? So it says here, Sufficient Grace is a story of loss, innocence and the unfailing bond between two young women. It is at once devastating and beautiful and ultimately transcendent. I really love this cover as well. I think it's beautiful. Um, and I really, really love it. And every single book I've read so far from Mothbox has been really, really like four star books or more. I've really, really loved them. So still got high hopes for this. I will um, link Mercedes uh, announcement video and also the uh, website for Mothbox down below. So the last two, the first one is un un Unhuck, Unfuck Your Habitat, You're Better Than Your Mess by Rachel Hoffman. I always feel like um, April is a good month to have a bit of a spring clean and that's what I've got planned. I don't know when in April, we're busy every weekend, but I might do it. So here it, it says that it runs, it relies on a 2010 system um, where you do 20 minutes of cleaning followed by a 10 minute break. I might try and employ that for an hour, one, David's laughing because it's not gonna happen, for, for an hour, um, <laughs> every night after work for the every first night. part of April, then maybe go down to three times a week, then like, and then do it once a week for the last week. That's what I've got planned, um, to just get things tidied. I wanna get loads, of, 
He's looking at me. I've like got plans to be a millionaire by the end of the week. Where he's got a plan to be a millionaire. <laughs> um, I want to get rid of like my winter clothes, get them packed up, put them in storage and things like that. There's things that I want to get done. So I feel like this is a really good book to read. And I feel like I'm going to get some really good tips. I already feel excited about the 2010 system. There's other, there's other tips in here and I feel like I'm going to love it. So that's the last one. Uh, not the last one. And then the last one I want to read is Letters to a Young Muslim by Omar Saif Gobash. Um, I read um, The Good Immigrant, um, which is a collection of essays um, sort of curated by Nika Shukla earlier this year and really, really loved it. And um, when I got sent this from um, Big Door, um, I thought, well, this sounds to me quite similar to the sort of message that they were trying to get across um, in good, uh, The Good Immigrant, the message, like the, the message that I got from The Good Immigrant. Um, so this is a collection of, it says, in a series of personal letters to his older son, Omar Saif Gabash offers a short and highly redeemable, uh, readable manifesto that tackles our current global crisis with the training of an experienced diplomat and the personal responsibility of a father. Today's young Muslims will be tomorrow's leaders and yet too many are vulnerable to the extremist propaganda that seems omnipresent in our technical age. The burning question, Gobash answers, is how moderate Muslims can unite to find a voice that is true to Islam while actively and productively engaging in the modern world. What does it mean to be a good Muslim? What is the concept of a good life? And is it acceptable to stand up and openly condemn those who take the Islamic faith and twist it to suit their own misguided political agendas? So yeah, this is, sounds like something that I'm going to be super duper interested in and um, I will be reading that at some point this month. So those are five of the books. David's just putting the washing out, so that's what Sorry. all that flapping is. Um, so those are five of some of the books I will be reading in um, the month of April. What will you guys be reading in the month of April? Very, very excited to hear about it. As I said, do keep an eye out for my um, holiday TBR and for my Cozy Reading Night TBR. I will also link my Cozy Reading Night announcement video down below if you're like, what the hell's a Cozy Reading Night? It tells you all about it there. Um, and I will see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye.